layout and appearance on Moodle. Hi, my name is Satish Patel. I'm the ICT coach at the Faculty of Arts at Umeå University in Sweden. We're going to look at some common beginner experiences of Moodle, mine included, and look at the way we can work on the layout and the appearance of Moodle so that it can be useful for yourself and pleasing also for your students. Here's one of my later courses and here you can see I've got a, an image and something called latest news here. And this place here is used for course critical information that I want my students to see without them having to, the need to click on something else. And I recommend that you use this first rectangular section, the one with no number on it as you can see, the one that cannot be moved, for course critical information. Don't have any files or any forums or anything here. So what kind of course critical information might you include? For example, here I've got on this course information about um, the grammar reset which is going to take place. Um, let's see if I've got an, any other information here. Yeah, here is some information here. And this information I've got here temporarily and then I'll be moving it away and adding new information. Now sure, you can have this information in the forum but that means that students might have to click on it. And as we know, not all students click on what we want them to click. So use this information so it's very clear. Use perhaps one of the other blocks to make clear um, to students about what their term is going to look like. And these are uh, block number two here. You can easily um, hide this away once the course has started. And, and try to use some images as well to give a good aesthetic feeling to uh, your page, your Moodle site. Now, what are common beginner experiences? This is the kind of layout that a beginner course tends to have. Reasonably structured still, but nevertheless quite a lot of information and students will have difficulty looking for things, as too will you. Here's another example. And here is my very first course. And I can honestly say that my students had difficulties in finding things. They would email me and I had to respond and I also had difficulty finding my own things. So what tools can we use in Moodle to en enable us to have a hopefully a more pleasing kind of layout? Perhaps like this. So some of the tools that you can use then in order to, uh, to have a more user-friendly interface with your students. As you can see here, I'm clicking here where it says October 10. I'm clicking here, but nothing's happening. Neither is this. Um, however, when I click here, there's a link. And this is also a link, as to as this. So, how do you, uh, on Moodle, place these things there? And what you then need to do is, as always, you click on Activate the Sharing, and then <clears throat> from your resources here, you choose Etiquette. In English, this is Label. And why don't we actually have a look at this in practice? And so I'm going to here, or here, I'm going to have a label and I'll give this a name. I'll actually call it a name and a date and it's in block 47. Let's have a quick look at that. And as you can see it's now here. And you can use this to make clear what, what your intentions are for any given learning period. 
Another very useful tool for this uh, to make your Moodle site less vertical is by using let's uh, switch off the, the the editing facility here and here um, I've got things within a very useful tool called book and your students can if you allow it you can allow them to um, print this particular page or in fact the whole book all of these uh, chapters within your book. This is a Moodle plugin that we use both at uh, Linnaeus University and Inma University and in order to do this once again you click on uh, the, the editing feature here and then from your tools you choose this one here called book and that will give you this kind of symbol in order for you to have a book with chapters within it. So as a recap then, keep this first section free for course critical information that you will either move later on or get rid of. And then um, use uh, the, the label feature and the book feature. Finally, use as many of these um, rectangular sections as you need to. Now you might think this would involve a lot of um, scrolling, scrolling up and down. But there's a thing called Quick Jump. Have a look at this on the website, the IC2 to support website, and Quick Jump can move you to somewhere else in Moodle very, very quickly and very, very easily. So, hopefully, and if you feel that this is the case, you, that this is a kind of pleasing kind of layout, um, then uh, use these tools. Finally, in order to get a, 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 a pleasing image or a label like this, then you need to find an empty section. Let's find one here, perhaps. Find an empty section and then use this here. And when you click on this feature here, then you've got this what you see is what you get menu and you can add things as you need to. Add, an, add a picture if you need to. So, in this tutorial then, um, the aim was to give you an overview of how to get a more pleasing kind of initial layout as opposed to something which looks a bit like this with lots of information in your first blocks which is then very difficult to move. Good luck with Moodle!